Hello you guys, we are kicking off another vlog here. Today is Sunday, January 2nd, and I am just heading out to go do some shopping with Brandon. I just finished getting ready and wanted to show you my outfit. I threw on my puffer from Urban, this cropped turtleneck long sleeve from Princess Polly, and then these trousers. I'm so excited about these pants. I had gotten them from White Fox a while ago, but they were too long, so I had them hemmed and if you can see like on the bottom they have like a slit right here and it's just like a really cool detailing in the pants but yeah I put those on with some sneakers and I'm all ready to go. I'm going to use my white bag today because I feel like this one matches the best. But yeah, we are off to do some shopping. My mom had actually gotten me this from Louis Vuitton. And the thing is, like, I think it's super, super cute. And I love that it has, like, the black in it. And then also, like, the card holders and the zip. But I have quite a few wallets and, like, little clutches and stuff. So... Brandon and I are going to go to Louis Vuitton and just look and see if there's anything else that I would want. My mom said that she didn't actually want to buy me this one. She had wanted to get me like a different card holder, but they were completely sold out. And so she just picked something for me to get so that I could open it for Christmas. But she wanted me to go to the store and like apply the money to something that I really want or just like pick something else. So today, that is what we're doing. We're gonna go to the strip and just like go shopping down there. It was like really thoughtful of my mom to get this for me. Um, but yeah, I just wanna make sure that I'm like getting exactly what I want. So that is what the plan is, but just wanted to start off another video and fill you in what's going on today. cafe in the wind that we've never been to before so we're gonna check this out yeah it's really nice in here we got coffee Brandon got me an iced latte with did you get oat or almond 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 Can't and taste then, them. I couldn't tell we got a cafe I just got a black coffee no <laughs> with... a black coffee. I didn't get a muffin either <laughs> you already ate that I forgot to show it I'm surprised that we've never been here yeah. I think it's because it's the day after New Year's. JK. JK. How do you feel now that you bought the bag you finally wanted? I feel very excited. I'm very grateful. It's going to be really nice. I've been wanting a travel bag really bad. And I would feel like you've been staying for like a lot of I think you'll use it a lot. I think so too, especially because I have family in two states. So I feel like I'm always traveling. You did like seven plane rides in yeah. December. <laughs> you'll use it a lot. It'll be good. I know. I'm super excited about it. Hell yeah. I'm gonna tell us to move. We're in like a no parking zone really quick. We just left the wind and we're gonna go to the forum shops. The right? Forum Caesars, yep. Yep. But um, we're gonna give you guys a little story time. <laughs> oh shoot, what are we gonna talk about? We are finally going to talk about how we met. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel kind of nervous. I messaged Bebe Hey on Instagram for seven years before she actually replied to me. <laughs> Could you imagine if like that was the whole reason why I moved That's to That's a story, see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and no. she curved me. We did not meet online. Everyone thinks we either met like on Instagram or in the gym. No. And it's none of those. Nope. Not a single one. Tell them. Do, do you think they can guess? Guess, down below. 
comment. <laughs> do you want to tell them or do you want me to tell them? Tell them the story. Because it starts with you. Yeah, it does. Okay, you guys. So, I moved into my apartments and... My apartments. Oh, you were there first. Okay, go ahead. No? Oh, yeah, I actually was. Okay, so I moved into the apartments and I moved in in June. And then in November, I saw this, like, super cute guy. Who was it? With you. <laughs> <laughs> and I was honestly like really, really nervous, so I never said anything. But so I saw him around in November. Then I didn't see you for a little while, but I saw you for sure again in January and then again in February. And I had actually seen Brandon in the parking garage of the apartments with my mom. And that was like one of like the first times he like held the door open and was like waiting for us to get in the elevator. And I was literally so nervous that I was like, my mom likes to take the steps. And we left out of the like little part where you get in no, the elevator. No, like I was in the elevator and I held the door open in the elevator and she's like, my mom wants to get her steps in. And then I <laughs> ran away to the stairs. I was like, that was weird. But I didn't like process who she was. Yeah, so that was like one other time and then or didn't really like acknowledge it was you. like a couple months later i'd still seen him like a few times and i was still so nervous but it was right around like the end of march and i had seen him get out of his car in the parking garage which was when he had the i8 and the only reason she liked me no it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> but so i had texted my brother and i was like oh my god there's a super hot guy that lives at my apartments. What do I do if I ever see him? Because I was thinking that I was going to move out of our apartments and move to Arizona and just like live in the same state as my mom. So I was kind of like, well, if I like give him my number and it goes bad, then I'm just moving anyways. So it's no big deal. <laughs> so I texted my brother and he was like, oh my gosh, you should totally write your number down on a piece of paper and leave it on the windshield of the car. And I was like, that is genius. Like, how did my brother just give me the best idea? So I wrote my number down on a yellow note card and... Yeah, I'll put the screenshot up. <laughs> yeah, and then I um, left it on the windshield and then i like ran back up to my apartments i was like oh my god could you imagine if he walked down while i was putting this on but so i ran back up i was so nervous and i was waiting and then like an hour goes by and i get a text and i was like oh my god that was so fast don't ever touch my car again dot, dot, dot. i have to find the messages because i'm I'm gonna, gonna find them i have them Oh, you saved it. Yeah. I saved no, it. you have to show this. This is hilarious. Okay, so just do a screen recording and put it yeah, on. Yeah, I should. That's I'll put the hilarious. messages up on the screen for you guys. But I text or he texted me and was like, "What's up, blonde apartment girl? Is this the girl I saw the other day?" And then I was like, "Ha ha! I see you got my note. And yes, it's Haley." And then he was like, "Lol, yes, but refresh my memory so I can make sure it's who I think it is." Mailroom. And then I was like thinking about it. I was like, "I've never seen him in the mailroom. Like, does he want me to walk down in the mailroom?" I was like so confused. So I, guys, I sent a selfie, and I was like, "Ha ha, parking garage." And then he was like, "Lol, I saw you before, but I'm wondering if you meant to give number to me or wrong car." And then. He texted again and was like, were you just in parking garage an hour ago? I was leaving and saw you, I think. I feel like I used to see you in garage and you would walk by me hella fast with your mom or friend, lol. And then I was like, that, that's weird because like, yeah, I have seen him with my mom. <laughs> and then I was like, I've definitely seen you around a few times, just a little shy, and you still haven't told me your name. And then he was like, lol, wait, am I white or black? And then I was like so confused, so I just sent back white. And then there was nothing. There was no messages. And honestly, you guys, I just felt so awkward. I was like, oh my god, I'm totally moving out of these apartments. And that's the end of this hot apartment complex guy. <laughs> and so then, probably like a couple days go by. No, well, okay. Well, then I, no, no, before all that. Like, I held the door open for you one time, right? Yeah. And then, that was the first time I actually noticed you. And I was like, oh, okay, she was pretty or whatever. But then she, like, ran away super fast. So I was like, okay, that was kind of weird. But, like, I noticed her. That was, like, a week before Yeah. the second time I saw her. So then, I was on the phone upstairs at the parking garage. And I saw her car come down. And I saw a blonde chick. So I was like, it's got to be her. So, like, 
I hung up the phone. I was like, yo, I gotta go real quick. So I went down there. And then I get out of my car and then pursue the story. Yeah, so he gets out of his car. Thinking like, oh, I'm just gonna grab this chick's number real quick. Like, and I'm thinking, oh my God, I never wanna see this guy again. Like I feel so embarrassed. She's like, gets out of her car and starts running. And I'm like, what the f I was like I walking know. so fast because I was like, oh, this is like really awkward. He didn't wanna text me. He was like saying weird messages and then also never said his name. So we're like basically walking the same elevator and we're about to like T-bone. But like I parked far away because I didn't want her to see my car on purpose. I like, already seen it. <laughs> I know, I didn't know that. Like, I, so I parked <laughs> far away and like get out of the car and then like try and like bump into her. But she's like running. I'm trying to run away. Yeah, I'm like. Trying to run away. <laughs> but so we're like walking and literally you guys, the only thing I could think of to say was, what's up Mr. No Name? And he looks at me like. like I was like, I literally was like, Mr. No Name. So like, I'm like confused. So like, I was like, all right, whatever. Like, Mr. No Name. That was weird. So then like, we get in the elevator and then we start chopping it up and she's like, hella nervous. And I'm like, why are you so nervous? And then, um, I like asked you what you did, remember? Yeah, I was like, oh, I, I was like, what do you YouTube. do out? What do you do out here? I was like, you YouTube. And then she gave me her YouTube and then, uh, she was about to get out and I was like, let me get your number real quick. And she's like, oh yeah. And I like, gives like, me her number, right? So like, like, I thought it was just like a natural thing to do. And then she was kind of acting weird and like, okay, see you later, see you later. It was like, whatever. And then I texted her like, was it two days? Yeah, he texted me two days later. I was working. Like I was working like 12 to 15 hour days, like every single day. And then like it was my Friday coming up and I had texted her Thursday night, right? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you want to grab coffee? Like I'll be off at like 11 or something like that. And then we got we went and grabbed coffee. It, it goes super good. She doesn't say anything about the note. Like I don't even know nothing. And then I'm like, okay. We get back in the car, and then she's like, I open the door for her, come back around, and then she's like, what did you say? I said, so did you ever get my no? And you go, what no? No, you said, are you are you effing with me? And I was like, what? What are you talking about? And then she's like, did you get my no? And you're like, I was like what, what are you no? talking about right now? And I was like, the no I left you on your car, like with my number. But then my confidence goes way up, because I'm like, oh, she's into me. Because in my head, I didn't know, if she, I was just like, Oh, like, let's go to coffee. I didn't know if you'd uh, even like me. You know? Yeah, well, I was like so confused when he had asked me for my number, but I was like, okay, well, I think he's so cute. I really have been wanting to talk to him, so I was like, okay, if he's asking me for my number, I'll give him a second chance. <laughs> but then it was like a whole weird thing. So someone had stolen the note off of his car, decided yeah. to text me, was asking all these weird questions, and then we were like, oh, Which my I God. think I know who it was, but it had to be that guy. <laughs> But that is just like so weird. But so we had went to coffee that day and coffee was like, we were there for like three hours, I think. Yeah, we were there for a minute. And then we went to dinner Chopping that night up. and we basically hung out every day since then. <laughs> and then I never left. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I guess the one thing that I've been hiding, you would say, is that we live at the same place and it makes it so much easier because when we hang out, I literally just go upstairs. Yeah, <laughs> it's like two seconds away. You haven't been hiding it, you just didn't tell anybody. Yeah, we just hadn't like talked about it yet. No. But we just wanted to like have been together for a while and like I wanted to be able to tell like my family and everyone and like talk about it in person before it was like online. Well, and see each other for a while. Yeah. You know. But yeah, honestly, just like the craziest story. And like the fact that we saw each other again after the whole note thing. Because I would have never spoken to you if you weren't in the garage at the I same time. I know, you were trying to run away from me. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> I was so nervous. Yeah, I could tell. I'm blocking this guy. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. That's the story. Yeah. And, um,. Uh, now we're together every single day. <laughs> Literally, honestly, we are. If I didn't, if I didn't hang up the phone and go downstairs to the parking garage, then we wouldn't even be here. I'm so happy you did that. I know. If you guys know Haley in person, she gets a little sassy sometimes. <laughs> she was a little sassy with me the first time I ever talked to her. <laughs> hey, Mister No Name. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you literally looked at me like, huh? What? I didn't know what that meant. Well. I get that Then I called you Mrs. No Name right after. I was like, oh, Mrs. No Name. Yeah, literally. You're like, I'm Brandon. I was like, oh. 
Yeah. That was simple. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was funny. I know. That was funny. Yeah. Now we're here. Now we're here. Now the vlog has to deal with me too. Sorry about it. I love it. It's great for me. <laughs> <laughs> but literally, I had thought that I was going to move to Arizona and then I met him in March and my lease was up in June, but I knew right away. I was like, I'm not moving. Yeah, I know. You told Michael's girlfriend that, remember? I, like the day I met her, we went to dinner and then the next day I, I was going to go to dinner with my cousin and his girlfriend, but I was like, oh, like this chick's cool. Like I'll bring her or whatever. Thinking it'd be super casual. And then uh, my cousin's girlfriend like fell in love with Haley and they've been friends ever since. And Brooke. Yeah, Brooke. And uh, basically you guys went out to coffee. That week. That week. And she was like, hey, let's grab coffee or whatever. And then Haley told Brooke that she didn't end up moving to Arizona because of me. And I'm like, oh shit, like pressure's on. Like she actually does like me. Yeah, it had been like a week. But you didn't even tell me. No, I know. But like I knew the second I met you, I was like, oh my god. We're good. This is my person. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah, I know. I feel the same way. So, it's been so nice. <laughs> but yeah, I literally told her that right away. I know, she told, so then Brooke comes to me and she's like, hey, like, just so you know, Haley's not moving to Arizona because of you. And I'm like, she didn't even tell me, so I'm like, oh, whoa, like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I know, you were probably <laughs> That's like, That's a lot of pressure. What? pressure? Holy hell. <laughs> After a week. <laughs> she didn't even tell me that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was pretty, no, Michael told me that, actually. Oh, he must have, yeah. Yeah, he did. He was like, Brooke said that, Haley said that. I'm like, oh, wow, <laughs> telephone over here. Uh, it was the right story, though. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you told me after. Oh, yeah. I had, I had brought, brought it up like months later and you're like, yeah? Yeah, I just can't believe I was texting the wrong guy. I know. Thinking it was you. Yeah. I know. The screenshots, you gotta put them up on there. Yeah. It's so funny. Well, it all works out. Mm -hmm. It all works out. So happy. Me too. And now we're starting off a new year together, and apparently I heard that that's like a really good thing. New year, new me. <laughs> yeah, my aunt said that, remember? Oh yeah, it was your aunt. She yeah. was like, the person that you start off the new year with is like, <laughs> the person you'll be with the whole year, <laughs> or yeah. something like that. She was all happy. Yeah, it was funny. You can't go away. She said. You yeah, because I was thinking about like going to Seattle, and she thought that it might be over New Year's, and I was like, Oh no, I'm coming back for New Year's to be with B. And then she was like, Oh, good, good. You have to. Yeah, it's very important who you start the New Year's with. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel the same way. It's good. It was a good New Year's. Yeah, we had a good New Year's. It was so chill. Yeah. She was trying to get me going on the strip. I was like, no, I'm not about that life. That's not what I did. <laughs> We're cooking dinner and staying in my place. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I said. And then we did the same thing last night, and we made the same exact dinner, had the same exact midnight snack. Yep. The same exact breakfast. I'm a routine individual. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly been nice, though. It was a good morning today. It was a good weekend. And then she yeah. leaves next week. Did you tell me you're leaving next weekend? No, I don't think I did. Should we find a place to park quick? Um, yeah, we can go. Um, but, yeah, I leave I just on broke Thursday. the news as well. That's fine. Okay. I go to Seattle on Thursday, rebooked it Thursday to Monday, so I can see my family and, well, my dad and my brother mostly before they go to Alaska. But now I have a new bag that I can travel with. There you go. And I'm very excited. It's actually super sick. Is this going in the beginning of the vlog or after? We're gonna show that first. Yeah. Show that first. Yeah. Gotcha. And now, and now we shop. Put your seatbelt on. Safety first. Brandon needs some good thermal long sleeves. Yeah, Brandon needs clothes in general. I know. I don't have clothes. But it's honestly just hard. Yeah, I know. Cause you're ginormous. I know. I just put my bag on. Why did I do that? Cause we're getting ready to leave. Yeah. Well, we were literally right outside the Caesar's Palace parking garage, but. We didn't want to go into the garage and park because you only get free one free hour. Yeah. And we don't want to pay. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like ten dollars. It's literally nothing. It's a McLaren. <laughs> Haley told the Louis Vuitton girl today that I was fat. Remember? No, I didn't. Fat I girl. didn't. It was like babe. What did I say? A little coof. 
Oh, it's because he was trying on a ring that he wanted to get, <laughs> and I asked if they had any bigger sizes, and she was like, "She's like, is that gonna fit you in six months?" Or <laughs> It was and the lady size. didn't really understand. Yeah, well, honestly, just because Brandon's body changes so much, like size-wise, that like you don't want to spend that much money on something and then it not. Oh, it? We're gonna fall off. I got you. Down. I'm holding you guys. I'm holding you guys. Don't worry. <sighs> no, I feel you. That was funny though. I did like that ring. The ring was sick. The issue though with fashion jewelry though is that it tarnishes really quick. Yeah, not the move. Oh, we're going all the way up? Yep. Views. Nobody's on the strip today and I love it. It's so nice. Yeah. I've had some people ask me about my Dior bracelet that I wanted to mention though, which goes along with the ring, is that my Dior bracelet looks like super new and like good still, but I never shower with it. I never clean with it. Like I always take it off so it never gets wet. But Lauren got one at the same time as me, and hers is like brown now. Lauren, <laughs> treat your shit better. My God. Because she <laughs> wears it like every single day and never takes it off, like sleeps, eats, breathes with it on. Yeah, but what my thing is, is but like, you can't I, do that. my jewelry that I wear, I literally never take off. Yeah. So it's like, I, that thing will be ruined. Yeah, so it's like not worth getting jewelry. Like, I wouldn't recommend getting the Dior bracelet unless you're gonna take it off. And like be like really careful. Unless you're gonna take care of it. Well, that's not what I mean. I no, just mean literally. like you have to. Like I just wear all these like. Yeah, but I mean I do that day. with this necklace too. Like this heart necklace. If I. Yeah, but that's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. It's real. Like, that's what I'm saying. You nothing could do that. will happen to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I want a ring that I can like bring to the gym and not have to take off. Yeah, that's what you need. Not but I don't, honestly don't really like working out with rings on. It hurts my fingers, like on the dumbbells. I've done it once or twice. Really? The other ring. Once or twice a while, actually. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's a rendezvous. Let's get it. Let's get it. <sighs> the view is actually so pretty from up here, though. It is. Can you take a picture of me really quick? Just made this dinner for the third time in a row. Okay. Don't no, I actually like this dinner. It's simple, it's healthy, and it's also really easy to make. But we had leftovers, so we literally just heated it up in the microwave. Got the barbecue sauce, the sweet and spicy. It's honestly a little bit spicy, in my opinion. I just got back home, or should I say, I just walked downstairs for that matter. I'm honestly so happy to be able to like say that Brandon and I live at the same place Not that I was like wanting to keep it a secret But we just like wanted to wait to tell people until we've been like dating for a while and I don't know just like tell our family in person and I obviously explained that in the car, but yeah, I'm just glad that we took some time to like soak it in ourselves and get to like enjoy it and then be able to share it because we obviously like won't live here for like our, the rest of our lives or whatever. So it's just fun to like have this experience and to like live together. Like we obviously don't live together, but we kind of do. And I feel like that's why like so many people have asked like, are you guys going to move in together or whatever? And it kind of feels like we live together already because like we both just walk up and down stairs, but I'm just like super grateful to have Brandon in my life and I feel like the reason of why I'm like so in love is because I feel like fate brought us together in like a weird way. It's like I moved to Vegas and then I randomly chose this apartment complex and then he happens to live here. I don't know. It just seems like we were meant to be together and it's like the best feeling that like it's so mutual between the both of us. So yeah, I'm just like really happy and I'm so happy that you guys get to know like the story and everything, but 
I figured that I could just open this up and I am leaving on Thursday. My flight is at like 9 p.m. So, I mean, not 9 p.m. I get there at 9 p.m. The bag comes with like a bag tag and you can customize it. So I got my initials in the bag tag, but I had to leave it there for one day. So I'll go back tomorrow and pick it up. But I just got HMJ. If you guys don't know, Marie is my middle name. But I'm really excited to have like a really nice travel bag. I've been wanting something that I can take on trips with me and just be able to use every time I go somewhere. And I also wanted something that I could use for like road trips and smaller trips because they did have this bag in the 55 size but I got the 50 just because I feel like it looks better on like my body size I think I'm too small for the 55 just because it looks like it's so overpowering and also too you want to think about like the weight because if I filled this up all the way especially with the 55 it would be super heavy and I honestly don't even think I'd really be able to carry it around so I got the 50 and I'm really excited. I'm honestly just like super thankful that I was able to get this bag and I think I'm going to be using it all the time. So I'll just show you guys how it looks, but yeah, it's so pretty. So I just wanted to open it and show you guys, but that is what I got. I figured we could just do the unboxing. So that's why I opened it up on camera but i am going to close out the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you had fun hearing like the story of how brandon and i met and everything but i love you all so much thank you for watching and cheers to a new year don't forget to subscribe put my post notifications on give the video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye guys